Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 995. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 994 to 996, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video here, we have some sales, and we need to know not how much our current bonus is, which would be I'd look this up in this table, I'd get this 2,000, I'd bring it back to this cell. 2,000 would be my current bonus, but I need to know if I've sold 56,000 in sales, how much do I need? to sell to get to the next bracket. Now, looking up our current bonus is easy, right? We use VLOOKUP. We say, hey, VLOOKUP, look up this 56,000. Within this table, sorted ascending, so we can do approximate match, comma, the value on a return is in the second column, so I type a 2. And then the default is approximate match, which is what you do when you have a sorted column like this. Close, and I don't default is approximate match, so I don't have to put that fourth argument in. All right, so that, that's easy enough. That's 2,000, but that's not what I want. I want uh, my ultimate goal is to you know, get a bonus of 3,850. But how in the world am I going to look up or calculate how much I need to get to the next bracket? Because here's where I'm sitting now, and I need to get all the way to 69,000. Now, the way I'd approach this is I'd first kind of try and figure it out manually, and then maybe from that I can figure out a solution. Well, I can definitely see this is where I am, and I need to get 69,000. So the manual calculation would be, oh, the 69,000 from the next bracket minus my 56,000. Now, so ultimately, I'm going to need a formula that does exactly this calculation here, but I want it dynamic. Whatever I change here, this formula will update. So right now, 13,000 is my goal. Well, look at this formula. That is a static number, but this is what we need to simulate, right? So I actually have to look up the 69,000. So if I were looking up this 56,000, which we did here, you know, we could use index and match and get that number, right? But somehow I need to jump to the next number. All right. I'm going to use the match function. Now, the match function is great. It can look something up and tell you the relative position. So look up value, comma, the array, this range right here, comma, same thing here. The default is approximate match. And you can always tell that the default can be assumed if you leave this argument out because it has square brackets. So I'm going to leave it out. OK, so five. That is the relative position, but guess what? That is not what I want. That's this bracket. I need the next bracket. So the trick is you add 1. That's how we can get to the next bracket. So now if I type um, $2,000, right? it better tell me uh, 2, right? Because 2,000, uh, this is the bracket I'm currently in, right? I'm getting zero bonus. I can see I have a dollar sign there. But that's the relative position of the next bracket. I'm going to Control Z. So no problem. Once we know 6 here or 2 in that other example, I can simply use this inside of index. And what am I looking up? I'm looking up the actual number in this column, comma. So index, the array, is the numbers I'm looking up, and match is returning the next bracket or the next relative position so I can get my number. That's the 69,000. I can test it. If I put 2,000 here, it better give me 5,000. So I simply, or Control-Z, I simply take that and subtract this amount. That's the formula right there to get how much do I need to get to the next bracket? If I type 2,000, boom, how much do I need to get to this next bracket? 3,000 bucks. All right, we'll see you next video.